Welcome to this video. This video is on hyperlinks. Okay, and hyperlinks can probably be the single most important thing I can teach you for a really effective dashboard. They're very straightforward, but I'll just go through some of the options you can do with hyperlinks. For example, we can just click on, we've got online resources here, we can click on Udemy, for example. For setting up hyperlinks, the best thing to do is actually to go and find the hyperlink that you want to use. And so I'll just do a Udemy site here. And I can also do a YouTube site here. These are general, but obviously they can be down to specifics as well. So let's just copy that there and just go back here. So under Udemy, I could right click and insert a hyperlink or use Control H. Having cut the address from the browser, I can just copy it in here. This is udemy.com courses. And then I just get a little globe in here. So I can just come across to the YouTube site, copy it, go back, put it in. I do Control H. I get the web, web link here, Control V and OK. So you can immediately see that online resources, we can just open up a Udemy, click on it, and it goes straight in there. There we have it. And if I go back, uh, the YouTube, I click on it, and it's straight in to the YouTube channels as well. So I can close all these down. And Vimeo would be exactly the same. Obviously, the hyperlinks can be very specific as well. They don't have to be the, the root one. So if I, if I just go back into, say, into Udemy, and here's my course roadmap uh, ID. So I can just put this in here, copy it. Let's just get rid of all of these. So under my course site, so this is specific for a course, but we'll get into this when we build the dashboard a bit more detail. I go Control H, come up with a website, Control V, click it in. On my dashboard, for example, I can just click on and it goes straight into my course roadmap site. Super useful, that part, for connecting hyperlinks to websites and resources. Now we can do local resources as well. Obviously, I've got my directories all set up, um, which we did a little bit earlier. So for example, if I want to have a link to my images directory, I can just go Control H. So now I can choose File. I have an option for absolute or relative. And because I have all my courses on an external hard drive, I actually keep these on a relative reference. I can choose a folder. I can go Courses and Images. I click it and and I go and I just OK that. So under images, now I've got a folder. I just click on the folder and I can immediately link into all my images, which are the images on my digital course, Udemy Create Dashboard Resources Images. So instead of having to go through each time in Explorer and drill down and find your images, at any stage, if I'm keeping this open as my dashboard, I can just click on the directory and I go straight in there. The same goes for raw video on Control H. I can do a file, do a relative, choose a folder, raw video files, uh, say GoPro and OK there. Perfect. And again, I've got files and these are my some of my raw videos. These are just a bit random that I've just stuck in there. Uh, again, for audio, I can do a particular file. Now on Camtasia, what I'll do is do something slightly different, which is uh, go to a file and actually go to a file itself. So I stick on relative and I actually choose a file. I can go to resources and go to my Camtasia projects. And let's see, create a course Udemy, put that in there. And what I can do is label this, create a course. There. And what I can actually do is enter something here, 
put Camtasia. So that's the place, and I'll just pick this up and drag it and add it to Camtasia on this side. So I've got my Camtasia, and these are each project. So if I click on here, it's actually linked to a particular file, and it actually opens up Camtasia and that particular project that I needed to work on. So you can see exactly how brilliant this is for a dashboard. Everything can just be set up with hyperlinks, and you just keep the same page open all the time for your course. This is all a bit random at the moment because I'm just showing you, but we will build the dashboard a bit later. And uh, you can just easily access any of the files just from your main dashboard here.